This video is brought to you by PC Case Gear. A link to their Facebook page and website are in the description. Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in to Upgrade Addiction. So the time's come for you to clean out your PC, and how are you gonna do that? Well, you've got a few different options. You can use a compressor, you can use canned air, and heck, I've even seen somebody use a vacuum before. But let me show you something that's going to be safer, cleaner, easier, and ultimately cheaper. So here we have the MetroVac DataVac ESD Safe Electric Duster. The model number is ED-500ESD and it retails for $149 Australian or $92 US and comes with a 12 month warranty. It has a 540 watt motor which can generate up to 70 CFM of airflow which should be more than enough to shift even the most stubborn dust from most systems. It's American made and has an all steel body, so it should be pretty sturdy. The dimensions of the DataVac are 19.5 centimeters tall, the diameter of the body is 8.6 centimeters, but the overall diameter including the handle and the nozzle is 16.5 centimeters. It also has a 3.6 meter power cord, which is much longer than I expected, but a great idea because being that long, it likely means that you won't need to use any sort of extension cable, which could add annoyance to using it. One little odd thing that I noticed was the fact that it has one silver flathead screw and the rest of them are black Phillips heads. And I'm not sure why that is. Um, I initially thought that perhaps that might be where you connect the anti-static band, but that doesn't appear to be the case. It just has an odd screw, and I'm not sure what that is. Looking at the product pictures, it doesn't show that. Perhaps it might have been a sample or something, but anyway, yours may not be like this. So its purpose is to offer a safer or less risky, easier and ultimately cheaper way of keeping your PC clean as opposed to other options like the use of canned air or a compressor or heaven forbid, a vacuum. Alright, so let's talk about the unboxing experience. Now first of all, if you're hoping to get some sort of really flash out there box, you're going to be really disappointed. It comes in a basic white box with nothing but the actual model code of the MetroVac on it. Once you open it up, what you'll find inside is the anti-static wrist strap, you'll find some documentation from MetroVac regarding the warranty, usage information and some other products that they have on the market. You'll also get some attachments, large and small, to suit most different scenarios, and you also get the DataVac electric duster itself, and it's all fairly tightly packed inside the box. Okay, let's put it to the test then. First of all, hooking it up is as simple as you'd expect. You just need a single power outlet and to put on the anti-static wrist strap. And I know some people are very torn about the use of the anti-static wrist straps. And personally, when I build systems, I don't use them. But this is potentially very different. After all, it is an external electrical device which you're gonna be putting near your PC. Plus the fact that it's really easy to put on and it's compact and it's not gonna get in your way. You might as well just use it. So I've got two systems that I want to use it on, one being my main gaming system which is built in the Thermaltake Core P3 which does have a little bit of a habit of collecting dust on the fans and on the radiator as well as other places just generally through the PC. I guess that is to be expected though, it is an open case. And I've also got a system from a friend of mine which we affectionately refer to as Old Dusty and I think that this one's going to really test the DataVac and see what it's actually capable of doing. So before we get into it, let's just take a look at how bad old Dusty really is. All right, so we'll start easy. We'll do mine first and then we'll jump onto old Dusty.
I ended up doing a pretty good job on my system, even though it wasn't overly dusty to begin with. Uh, but I did have to go over it just ever so lightly with a cloth just to remove the more stubborn micro dust that actually seemed to, you know, stick to the surface or bond to the surface. Alright old Dusty, you're up next. And just like mine, Old Dusty needed a little bit of a wipeout just at the end to get rid of the micro particles that had stuck to the components. So there you go guys, there's your look at the MetroVac DataVac. Uh, what do you think? As far as my thoughts, I think it's a pretty damn good thing. Um, it's going to make the process of cleaning my systems a heck of a lot easier. Uh, one that, you know, we probably, we probably don't do as much as we should, but having an item like this where it's simple to connect, it's just, you know, one connection in, the cord's long enough that you don't have to get anything else, you just get it, plug it in, and away you go. I think having an item that is that user-friendly and that effective is a huge bonus, and definitely something that, you know, if you guys have a particularly dusty area where your PC is, that you should probably consider it, because long-term, I think it's a much better option than using canned air or, you know, a big hefty compressor that, that could be awkward to move around. As far as the noise levels go, yeah, it's noisy. I mean, it's it's a blower. Um, it's it's going to be loud, but it's no louder than any other vacuum. And the thing is, you don't run it all the time. You know, I've I've seen some people complain about the noise, but I mean, what do you expect? It's got to blow a heck of a lot of air out the front of it. Um, you know, to move that stubborn dust. So of course some noise is to be expected, but it's not what I would class as excessive. So I'd like to thank PC Case Gear for sending the MetroVac DataVac to me for review. I know a lot of you guys were really keen to see it, and in fact, you wanted to see it before the D1 review, but um, sorry the way things worked out, we had to do that first and then this. So um, big thank you to those guys for sending it to me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, please do. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys next week. See ya.